Come on, Danny, get a ringer here. You're choking. There it is. <laughs> Well, it's basically it's the game that all of you are very familiar with. I love it. The point system is basic course. Use three for a ringer, one for a point, and then obviously a ringer cancels a ringer. Obviously. And it's closest to the stake, basically, too, for points. Got it. I think you got it. There is no such thing as a leaner. Can you please repeat that? There is no such thing as a leaner, which some of you may not know. Hmm. I like the skunk roll, but... You get seven points and the other person has zero, then you automatically win. Nice. This is a Reed Parks facility. It was designed by us, and we maintain it for the park. I think it's the nicest facility in the whole state of Arizona. We have trees. Sometimes we have giraffes to look at. Woodchucker. So this facility is available to people at any time. Can't beat a deal like that. Today we're having our first tournament of the season. I'll get there. Dang it. We throw 40 shoes and whatever the score winds up being, it's basically what percentage you throw is how you're classified in the different, different groups. On there. Capped you, my good man. Well, I think I can only hound dog you out of one. Well, I got started when I was about eight years old with my dad. And yeah, he got on her. Mm, I don't know whether that other one is or not. We pitched our shoes with regular shoes that come off the workhorses. I should have figured that. I love the competition. Tried to make it tough on me. Not tough enough. Six pack. Did you just get two ringers? Yeah. Yeah, big old six pack. I like it. How does it feel? Oh, it makes you feel mighty fine, mighty fine. Now if I can just throw three or four more before we finish this thing, I'll be in good shape. And I love the people that come to these horseshoe tournaments. It's nice meeting people from other states and other areas and, and then just the camaraderie we all have with each other. It's, it's just a whole lot of fun. Yeah, that leaner on there scared me. Made me, I see how scared you made me get tough. Ah. Nope, short. Yeah, it snuck on me. I got the three. So what's your secret, Chad? I don't know, luck. That's the whole thing in this game for me is a lot of luck. There it is. All right. I don't know, but I better watch it or I'm gonna wind up moving up in the class with all them hot shots. Well, I think that one's a little short. Huh? I think if a person nudges it, it might go on there. There it is. Oh. Nudged it the wrong way. That one's way to the right. Left and strong. That one was a good shoot. Off to the left. Lefty right, lefty right, and go side go. Yeah. Oh, and you got robbed on that one. 15 to 7. We have a lot of fun. Win, lose, or draw. Everybody has a good time. And I don't know. I just I just love pitching horseshoes. Close game, Chet. I just got that six pack. That's the only reason. 20%. You know, it ain't too bad for an old fat man. Not bad at all. Thank you again, my good man. It's good. It's good. Looks good. Oh, the last second it curved. Oh. That's all right. So you, you got eight, though. So you got grand total. Okay. Stay there. Stay there. <laughs> you got the spare. Look at Natalie, you're doing good. When the week came out, I thought it was a great opportunity for some of these seniors to be able to do golfing, tennis, baseball. People who are, you know, who have uh, disabilities or have uh, physical limitations that they can't 
um, perform the activities that they love and used to do. So the Wii gives them the opportunity to play tennis, to boxing, to do uh, bowling, to do golf, and all that stuff, which is where otherwise active sports, but they're able to do it in a, in a low, uh, low impact setting. strike. <laughs> looks good, looks good. Oh, nine, you got nine. Press B, hold it down, swing it back, swing it forward and let go. Teaching them how to play the Wii, even though it's simple, sometimes does take patience and does take time. Let go. There you go. There you go. Almost a spare. <laughs> Repeat the instructions over and over, but swing after back, one forward, session with us, they usually grab on right, right away. I punch this one. A little bit to the right there. It's a little bit too far, a little bit back the other way, to the right. As you move your hands, it relates to what the, the person on the screen does or your character on the screen does. At first, uh, they were a little apprehensive just about the technology of it, you know, being able to press the buttons, to point it, to use the controls and stuff like that. But after they got to used to it and they started to realize how much fun it is and what kind of uh, the activities we offer, they really, they really grasped onto it. Yeah. Spare, you got the, <laughs> you got the spare, see? Um, some of the people that we have play um, don't usually exercise at all. This is the only form of exercise they get. Um, so it's, it's very beneficial to them. Spare, all right. There was a time there when we first started, I was winning every game, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. After a while, after they started getting used to it, they got, you know, they got more practice with it. Nelly has been beating me the last, last three times I played, she's actually beat me. It's good. It's good for you. It uh, makes you feel happy, makes you feel good, you know. And a lot of people around here don't do a lot of exercise, you know, because they're elderly. And this is really helps you out, throwing, using your arms, moving your body, so it's good for you. Oh, you that one. Better, better. I, did it I love it. It's fun, it's good exercise, and it keeps you motivated. I can hear the sound. Is, am I straight ahead of the sound? Yeah, let's, let's sound. actually take a couple steps forward so you get a little okay. closer because you've got to be right in front of the sensor. Right there is good. Della is, is an amazing person. She is one of those people who did not let her disability get her down. But um, you don't have a score right now, so you're going to press A. And she was able to pick up the Wii program, pick it up right away and follow the instructions and use the controls, and she did really good. Swing forward, let go of it. Better throw, even better throw. You got to almost, you got to spare? Oh, oh, you got three down. No, you got left one standing. You left one standing, but that was it. That was very good, Della. I thought that it was very easy, you know, and all of us were having lots of fun over there doing it, you know. And I'm hoping that there's more, more of us that will join in and do that game because it is lots of fun for, for all the seniors here. It's lots of fun. It really is. And I recommend it to all seniors. It's gonna, it's gonna, oh, it barely missed it by a hair. <laughs> Here, our guys, um, I've been trying to get them to come out, but they're, they're really shy. They're a lot more shy than the females. The, the, the females come out, they try different things. They're willing to do things differently. We're too good for them, that's why, you know. We're too good, we beat them, that's why. I would highly recommend this to any and all centers. The fact that we're using new technology makes them a little ap uh, less apprehensive to try something different in the future. They got a strike. Because this is a, well, it's a changing world and they got to keep up, unfortunately. Oh, that's good. Looks good. Strike away! Right. You got a strike. <laughs> hey, hey, tip for tat, huh? Tip for tat. Ready? Let's go. Go. They have a lot of heart to go back to heart. All sizes, all shapes, all that's the beauty of rugby though. We don't care what your political party is, we don't care what your religion is, we don't care about any of that stuff. All we care about is that you come out and you give it hundred percent and try and have a good time. That's all we care about. And that's all they care about. And you either love it or you hate 30, it. 40, 50, 40, 50, 60, 60, 70. We are just called the Lightning, Tucson Women's Rugby Football Club. So I started the team with another woman in the fall of 1989. We played our first game in the spring of 1990. Uh, I think it's one of those sports that it's not in the mainstream, so a lot of people don't know anything about it. No drops. Ready, let's go. Much better and they think it's really rough and that you're always getting hurt and it's not true at all. Uh, yeah, it can happen. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> and Lisa kind of embodies everything that's good about rugby because she's got a great attitude all the time. She's always positive. 
She's one of our better players. She tackles anybody, takes on anybody, any size, and she's always positive and upbeat, and she's just the, the embodiment of, of a rugby player. This tournament that we just came back from last weekend in Albuquerque, five years ago, we were coming back from this tournament, actually the exact same date, October 19th, 2003. Um, I was in a car with three other uh, teammates. We're told that there had been a head-on collision told me that Annalisa was still in the car. They had to actually break the rear glass of the car. It was devastating. Because um, I wasn't with them, I had flown back. And then that night, um, she took a turn for the worse. She ended up having, um, her stomach was pretty much just all the way pushed up into her diaphragm. So she wasn't having a, a easy time breathing. And uh, my pelvis was broken and I couldn't walk for like six months. So it took a, a while for me to come back and um, luckily I'm here playing rugby again. <laughs> it teaches about um, teamwork, um, camaraderie, uh, friendship. It's, it's really life lessons out there and it's a really hard sport and everybody who plays knows it's a hard sport so everybody respects the other person, respects the other team. I think it just teaches great lessons, it teaches a lot about decision making. If you have relationships and friendships that you know just aren't very breakable even when people move. Got you here! One beautiful thing about the sport is uh, for 80 minutes you're basically beating up each other on the field, but then afterwards you put all that aside and you all party together. Uh, you drink together, you eat together, you sing songs together, so it's very much a community atmosphere. I'd have to go back to heart. I'm gonna cry, <laughs> can you tell? <laughs>